As post-war Germany started to rebuild, two countries were formed from the rubble a free market and democratic West Germany and a communist-controlled East Germany under the influence of Russia. Despite growing tensions between West and East Berlin, Berliners were able to move between the two halves of the city to go to work, school or visit family and friends, until one night in August 1961. Overnight, East German soldiers sealed off the border between the two halves of the city. Boyfriends and girlfriends, parents and children, whole families suddenly found themselves on opposite sides of the wall. Even streets became divided. Houses along the border were bricked up. People made desperate bids to escape across the border into the west. Some even died trying. Armed soldiers patrolled the wall and would shoot anyone on sight attempting to escape. In October 1961, U.S. Chief of Mission in West Berlin, E. Allen Leitner, was stopped in his car by East German police. This prevention of access for American officials to East Berlin caused a standoff between American and Soviet tanks which faced off at Checkpoint Charlie. The potential for World War III was eventually averted when President John F. Kennedy contacted Nikita Khrushchev and convinced him to withdraw his tanks. On November 9, 1989, with the Cold War thawing and political changes happening across the Eastern Bloc, the Eastern German government announced that all GDR citizens could visit West Germany and West Berlin. People knocked down the wall with hammers and soon, with the help of bulldozers, it was pulled down. The reunification of East and West Germany was made official on October 3, 1990.